So today, this is gonna be our workout. It's gonna be a total body EMOM workout. And what that means, EMOM means every minute on the minute. So we're gonna be working through each of these blocks for 10 minutes. So like here's first block, 10 push-ups and 10 squats. So for the 10 minutes, every time we hit like the 60 second mark or the minute starts over, you're gonna perform 10 push-ups and 10 squats. And then you have the rest of the minute to recover. We repeat that for 10 minutes, then we'll do a two minute rest. And then we'll do that for each of the blocks. Uh, EMOM workouts, I think are cool because you're really just working against yourself. The harder you push yourself, the more rest you're gonna get. So if you really push yourself, through all the, the exercises, you should finish within like 30 to 40 seconds, have 20, 30 seconds to recover until your next round. So if you just kind of go through the motions in the exercises, you're not gonna get much recovery. So really try to push yourself and you'll get your payoff in the, the long run. So today, let's just start with a warm up. Get my timer out. We're gonna go through a few different cardio exercises for 30 seconds each. Just follow along with me do some stretching. So start off, we're gonna start with some jumping jacks. So let's get everybody on their feet. Start in five seconds. And go, jumping jacks. Come on, Jackson. Our next exercise will be high knees, but that's in 15 seconds. Let's go, Sebastian. Okay, now we go high knees, making sure opposite arm, opposite leg, working at the same time. If you've already warmed up a little, try to get your knees nice and high. If this is your only warm up, don't go too high too quickly. In 10 seconds, we're gonna turn Transition to butt kickers. Good, now butt kickers. Just run in in place. Really try to move your arms here too. Besides the good biomechanics. more seconds. All right, just shake everything out. We're gonna do those three exercises again, but just loosen up your joints. We'll start with jumping jacks in five seconds. Ready, set. Again, this is just our warm up, so don't go too fast too soon. We want to get our, all our muscles nice and warm so you can push yourself throughout the rest of the workout. In five seconds, we go to high knees and high knees. Everybody, 15 more seconds, then we go to butt kickers. Three, two, one, butt kickers. more seconds. Keep moving, loosen up our muscles. Five more seconds. And time. Okay, we're gonna go into some dynamic stretching now. We'll start just kicking our foot up in front of us. Try to do like five on each side. And after 
that. We're gonna have it down, touching the ground. side to side, touching our groins. Again, before our workout, we may want to hold your breath in for two to three seconds. Keep it dynamic. Good. Now let's do a quad stretch. Hold for two to three seconds. We're going to switch legs. I like to get my opposite arm up and extend my stretch a little more. You can also lean forward a little bit if you need to get a deeper stretch. Let's do some arm circles. Now let's go backwards with them. Make sure we open up those shoulders. We're going to start with push ups. Go across your body. All right. So we're going to do a 45 second plank before we go into our first EMOM. But I want to explain to you our EMOM so you know what we're doing. So, like I said, we're going to start with 10 push ups and 10 squats. So, every time I tell you it's the start of the minute or to go, that's when you're going to begin those exercises. Push up. On your knees, coming up and down, trying to reach a 90 degree angle. Squats, squatting up and down, sitting backwards like you're going into a chair. Okay, make sure your, your knees are coming out, not really in. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what the timing with that, just remember 10 and 10. So 10 push ups, 10 squats. And then you recover until I tell you to go again. But first, we're going to get started with a 45 second plank. So let's get everybody in the plank position. I'll give you 10 seconds to get there. We'll get started. Starting in five seconds. And go. Hold your plank. Holding it for 45 seconds. Trying to keep that nice tabletop. If I were to come put like a glass of water on your back, you would not do this. So you sit there for the whole 45 seconds. If you do, you're going to get wet. Good job, everybody. We're already over halfway there. We have 15 more seconds. Start the timer for the EMOM in 10 seconds. So get ready to start with your push ups and squats. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, go. So trying to get 10 push ups in, 10 squats. Right now, in the first few sets, really try to push yourself to stay on your toes. As we progress in, in the sets, the push ups will get harder. So you, you might need to drop down to your knees. You're 20 seconds in, trying to get those done. Once you're done, you rest for the rest of the minute. Now we're 30 seconds in. Good, hopefully you're finishing up your reps soon, getting a little recovery. Way to push yourself, everybody. 15 seconds left in this minute. You're going to start your next round in 10 seconds. So five seconds, you do your push-ups. Three, two, one, go. 10 push-ups, 10 squats. Again, trying to get down to that 90 degree angle with both your push-ups and your squats. Really try to challenge yourself. 
after these 10 minutes, you will have completed 100 push-ups and 150 squats, which is a lot of great work. Good job, everybody. We have 30 seconds left. Keep working. 30 seconds left in this minute. The more you push yourself, the more recovery you'll get. I like what I'm seeing. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds until you start over. Go back to push ups in five, four, three, two, one, go. This is your third round. We do 10 of them. If you find that maybe the 10 and 10 and it's too hard for you, then set a goal of seven or eight if that's more reachable for you. We have a wide range of ages and strengths, so just set a goal. That's something that will still challenge you, but it'll be uh, easier for you to reach. You got 30 seconds left. Keep working. Try to finish those reps as quickly as possible. Uh, 20 seconds. Hopefully you're getting a chance to recover. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Back to push-ups. I like it. I still see a lot of the people on their toes. That's great work. Even though we're soccer players, we still want upper body strength. Great job. Keep up the work, everybody. Thirty seconds in. Try to finish as quickly as you can get that quick recovery in. You have 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Starting again with push-ups. Good job. So in these short recovery periods, I recommend trying to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's gonna help you slow down your rate of breathing. Since you only have a short time to recover, you wanna recover as quickly as possible. Good job. Halfway there, halfway there, 30 seconds left. Way to push yourself. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Just to let you know we've completed five minutes. So you're on your sixth set, means you're over halfway through with it. The second half is where it's really going to challenge you because your arms and legs are going to get sore. So the more you push yourself, the more strength and endurance that you'll build. So really try to push yourself here, work through the pain. You'll get a nice long two minute rest after. Thirty seconds left. While you're recovering, this is a good chance to bring back those arm circles or movements to help loosen up your shoulders. You got you, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, get those push ups in. It's only 10 at a time. You can do it. Before you'll know it, you'll have done 100. Great job, everybody.
15 seconds in. It's great, I see everyone uh, finishing at a consist consistent time the whole time, which means you're still pushing even though you need to get tired. 30 seconds left. Good job. 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Keep working. Hopefully you're recovering. Starting in three, two, one, go. We've completed seven rounds. You're on your eighth right now. And once we finish this, it's only two more. Really trying to bust out the push-ups and squats as fast as you can. Good job. You got 30 seconds left. I like it. Someone's holding a soccer ball or a medicine ball. Extra challenge. 20 more seconds. Only two rounds left of this. Really push yourself. We're going to be starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good job. I like it. everyone's getting nice and low. Some of you are even past 90 degrees. Angel, if you spread your hands out, it'll be a little easier. There we go. Good. 30 seconds left. After this round, you only have one more. So keep pushing. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Starting our last round in five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, this is our last round. Your last ten push-ups and ten squats. Make them your best ones yet. Really try to push yourself. I like what I'm seeing. I see great effort. All this fitness work you're putting in is going to really pay off when you're back on the field. We got 20 more seconds and then we get a two minute break. 15 seconds. Good. Once you're recovered, we just transition into our rest. Three, two, one. All right, now we get our two minute rest period. Uh, grab some water and come back to the screen so you can watch what our next block is. The next block is going to be very cardio based. So we only have one exercise, and that's a burpee. Each minute, you have to, your goal is to get seven burpees. It doesn't sound like much, but it'll still be a good challenge. So, for the burpees too, I'm going to add a little, a little twist. We're going to do a burpee to a header. So normally when you do a burpee, you go down, touch the ground, come back up, jump up. But today, we're going to go down. And when you come up, I want you to jump up like you're going up for a header. Okay? So down, back up, and up for a header. You do seven of those, and then you rest. Okay? Shouldn't be too hard. Actually, it will be pretty hard. I did it earlier, but it'll be good. You'll really improve your fitness, and we still have a minute left of recovery. Okay? So make sure in a minute you're ready to bust out seven burpees. Still 
45 seconds. Sip some water, loosen up your body. Starting in 30 seconds. Again, we're burpee up to a header. When you jump up for your header, try to get up as high as you can. Pretend like you have like some defenders around you. You're trying to beat them to the ball. Starting in 10 more seconds. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Seven burpees. Down and then you get up for a header. Good. When you do your burpee, I want your whole body to be on the ground. So make sure you get down, keep your stomachs on the ground. Good. And explode up for that header. Nice. We got 30 seconds left. If you're done, watch me do a burpee real quick. See how I come all the way down and touch the ground before I get back up. Right now I see some people just going back like this. You're gonna get more of a workout if you go all the way to the ground. Got 10 more seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Seven more burpees. Got it, push hard. You're lucky, I forgot to have you do our plank before this. Get up nice and high for those headers. This is gonna be the most challenging block of our workout. The next EMOM we do after this is gonna be like a breeze. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Starting again in three, two, one, go. Back to burpees. If you find that you're doing the burpees for the entire minute, Maybe set your goal to five because we want to still make sure we're getting our recovery time in here because 10 minutes straight is a long time to do burpees. Uh, if you're reaching seven, still push to that. Maybe you can even push to eight if you're, if you're flying through it. We're at 30 seconds right now. Hopefully you should be finishing up within the next 10 seconds so you can get a 20 second recovery. 20 seconds left. Good job, everybody. We've already completed three rounds of this. We'll start our fourth round in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Seven more burpees. Dude, I want to see your stomach touch the ground when you go down. Get all the way down. Good job, everybody. Burpees are a great way to build our cardio, and you're also building strength as you're getting yourself up and down off the ground. You might not notice it, but you're doing an extra squat in. So when I told you earlier, you're only doing 150 squats. I lied, it's probably be more like 250, which will be great for you. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Next round, starting in three, two, one, go. Really try to push yourself with these. Burpees are my least favorite. 
exercise, but they're also my favorite because they challenge me the most. I bet you'll have a similar relationship with it. Maybe it's like your left foot or your weak foot where it's harder to work on, but the more you work on it, the more you're going to improve and it's going to help benefit your game. You got 30 seconds left. Keep working. Just let you know you've completed five rounds, so you're halfway through this. We'll start our sixth round in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. See how quickly you can get up. Hit the ground and get right back up. Just like you get knocked over in a game. Get back on your feet as quickly as you can. Good work. 30 seconds left. I like what I'm seeing. Everyone's working hard. 20 more seconds. Starting in 10. Three, two, one, go. This is your seventh round. Seventh round of seven burpees. You got this. Keep working. This is why Santa Rosa United is so strong. We got a bunch of kids here doing burpees in their free time. That's what I like to see. Thirty seconds left. Finish out your seven. Get your quick recovery in. You got fifteen seconds left. Again, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Trying to take nice deep breaths. That'll help slow your heart rate down. Help you recover faster. Starting in three, two. One, go. Nice. Still making sure you're getting up for that header. Good, we're 20 seconds in. I love all the effort I'm seeing. Keep it up. more seconds. We only have two more rounds left. You've made it through eight. You can make it through eight. You can definitely make it through two more. Ten more seconds. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. out the burpees as fast as you can. The quicker you do them, the more rest you get. Thirty-five seconds left. Good work, everybody. Twenty-five. We have one more round left. This is our last round. Once the new minute starts, literally push yourself. Make these seven last burpees be your best ones yet. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Seven more, that's it. And you don't have to do any more burpees today. Unless you choose to do some more after, but that's your call.
love how high everyone's jump into really pushing yourself Thirty seconds left once you finish this round we have our two minute rest next you can go grab your drink of water anything you need make sure you finish out your burpees though for those who are still going we got 20 seconds like everyone's recovering. Okay, so two minute recovery. Hopefully, I forgot to have you do your plank before the burpees, so hopefully I don't forget that again. But I'll show you our third emom. So this one is gonna be 10 lunges, so five each leg. You can either step forward or step backwards, whichever one feels better for you. And then you're gonna do 10 leg lifts. So on your back, feet uh, touching, looking up and down. Okay, so 10 lunges to 10 leg lifts. This uh, block, at least when I did it, it didn't challenge my cardio as much, but it, I found that you got to really push yourself through the exercises and then you'll get the most out of them. For the lunges, I don't want your knee touching the ground. Try to make it so that your front knee comes about 90 degrees. You can flex it. In 50 seconds, we'll get started with our planks, and then we'll go into our last EMOM. This is our last EMOM, and then you're done. 10 more minutes of work. Seconds, let me start the plank. Again, you want to pretend like you're a table, you have to stay nice and still. Starting in 15 seconds, make your way down to your mat. 10 seconds. Hey, Sally, Emma asked how many do they do? Those of you who didn't hear, it's 10 lunges to 10 leg lifts. So 10 total. So you're doing five to each leg. You can alternate or just do five on each leg at one time. And then 10 of the leg lifts where you're on your back. Okay, we'll get started in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Ten lunges and then ten leg lifts. You can step forward with your lunges or backwards, whichever feels better for your body. We're 20 seconds in. With these exercises, so they don't get since they don't get your heart rate up, you don't need as much of a recovery. You can try and slow down your movements a little more to really focus on strengthening your legs and core. You got 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. 
starting our next round in three, two, one, go. So back to the top with the lunges. Ten lunges, ten, ten leg lifts. Good. Making sure you're keeping your nice form. You don't want that back knee to touch the ground. You can get close to it, but don't touch it. Keep working. 30 seconds left. With the leg lifts, try to keep your legs straight. And your uh, like head and shoulders back on the ground. You want to try to get the movement of your legs from your core. Uh, next round starting in five seconds. Three. Two, one, go. Go back with the lunges, good. Great job, everybody. You're 20 seconds in. You have a quick transition from your lunges to your leg lifts. So it's going to help you have a longer recovery. We have 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Hopefully you're finishing up soon. Next block starting in eight seconds. Three, two, one, go. Back with your lunges. Good. Again, you can lunge forward or backwards. Make sure you're doing 10 total, five on each leg. And then follow it up with your 10 leg lifts. Good job. Working, you got 30 seconds left. For your hands with the leg lifts, you can keep them by your side. I put it under like the bot, like the my lower back, plus the top of my butt area. You can put it behind your, your head too, just whatever feels best for you. Starting the next block in five seconds. Three. Two, one, go. Good, get those lunges in. If you don't finish the block before the time is up and I start over the new minute, then just start over with your exercises. Maddie, try to keep your back on the ground the whole time. There we go. We got 20 seconds left. Fifteen. Finish it out. Lucas, I like your leg lifts. It's a good speed. Start in the next block in three, two, one, go. Back to our lunges. You've already completed five rounds. You're on your six, so you're over halfway there. And remember, this is our last block. After we get through the 10 rounds, 10 minutes, then you get to rest and we have our cool down and stretch. Thirty seconds left. Great work, everybody. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. 
next block starting in three, two, one, go. Good job. Forty five seconds left. Again with the leg lifts, trying to keep our back on the ground. If you rock forward and then rock back, you're using your momentum to lift your legs instead of your core strength. So that's why we want to try and keep our back on the ground. 20 seconds left. Good. We have our next block starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Got through seven, got three more to go. That means 30 more lunges and 30 leg lifts and then your workout is done. Make sure you really push yourself through them. Don't just go through the motions. About 30 seconds left. Keep working. I bet your core and legs are burning right now. That's good. That means you're getting stronger. Ten more seconds. Next round, starting in three, two, one, go. Got this round and then one more. Almost there. It's like the last two minutes of a game. Got to push through and make it to the final whistle. effort you put in, the more you work, the faster it'll go by. We already got 30 seconds left in the minute. Twenty more seconds. Our last block. Hear that last block starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Make it your 10 best lunges and leg lifts yet. You've done 90 of them so far, so you should be a pro at it. Great work, everyone. Once you finish these sets, then you get to go into your recovery. your heart rate come down and then you can walk around a little bit. We're at 30 seconds. Finish out your 10 lunges and 10 leg lifts. 20 seconds left. <laughs> 10 more seconds if you're still going. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, congratulations, you survived, you made it through. Um, now you have your two minute recovery, but just kind of walk around in your area so you can let your muscles uh, relax a little bit, let your, your body temperature come down. Then after, make sure that you stretch all your major muscles that we stretch warming up. So your quads, your hamstrings, your groins, uh, you can do your calves, your arms. Just make sure you stretch everything that we worked today so you're not too sore tomorrow. But great work. Thank you for showing up. Don't forget to cool down, Peyton, mad dog. Thank you. Ali, do you want to do a cheer? And, uh, yeah.
Thank sure. you. Let me uh, let me unmute everybody yeah. first. You can unmute yourself, oh. guys. You want to call it, Sally? Yeah. Ready? United on three. One, two, oh. three. United. Thank you. Good work, everybody. Thanks, Thank Sally. Great session. Thank you. 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 Thank